In many ways, we are a shining city on a hill. But the hard truth is that not everyone is sharing in this city's splendor and glory. But there's another part to the shining city. The part where some people can't pay their mortgages. And most young people can't afford one. Where students can't afford the education they need and middle class parents watch the dreams they hold for their children evaporate. Fundamentally, my father was very concerned with how people were treated, and that was the arena that eventually drew him in. He was always the son of an immigrant. He was always an outsider, and that was his edge. And he said, who cares about what the audience wants to hear? It's about what you need to say. I remember going to Washington and begging for dollars for drug treatment. I remember making the case to the Congress over and over. My God, we do not produce heroin in the Bronx. We do not create cocaine in Queens. So I beg you, not for an army, not for a navy, not for prisons, just a little money for treatment. Just a little money to save these children who were lost because of your failure. These battles were for real consequences and made a difference to real people. Those who endorse legalized abortions aren't a ruthless, callous alliance of anti-Christians determined to overthrow our moral standards. In many cases, the proponents of legal abortion are the very people who have worked with Catholics to realize the goals of social justice set out by popes in encyclicals. In the first principle of our democratic commitment, the politics of inclusion. Opportunity for all of our people, not just the fit and the fortunate, all the people from wherever, of whatever color, of whatever creed, of whatever sex, of whatever sexual orientation, all of them equal members of the American family. What is our mission in this place? Your mission is to lock arms, all of you, and repair the universe. Your job is to make it as good as you can make it. That's all there is. I believe my father's spirit lives in the hope of a young boy sitting in a failing public school. His spirit lives in a young girl pregnant and alone and in trouble. His spirit lives in all those outsiders still living in the shadow of opportunity and still striving for their chance to join the family of New York. We must make the American people hear our tale of two cities. We must convince them that we don't have to settle for two cities, that we can have one city, indivisible, shining for all of its people. Please make this nation remember how futures are built. Thank you and God bless you. He was a man of principle, of honor, of duty, of service. For Mario Cuomo, the purpose of life was clear to help those in need and leave the world a better place.